We begin with breaking news tonight. Two Westland High School students killed in a crash in the Columbia Gorge. Now a community is in mourning for the second time in less than a year. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Ken Boddy. Antonio Caballero and Cooper Hill were two beloved members of the Westland lacrosse team. They died in a three-car pileup on Highway 14, and Coin 6 has just confirmed drugs or alcohol may have been involved. However, both boys were passengers in the middle car in that pileup. Coin 6 News, Chris Holmstrom was the first reporter to break this story tonight. We join him live in West Lynn with the latest. Chris? Ken, such a devastating story, especially for this Westland community. They've lost four students in just the last year, all by car crashes. So tonight, you can only imagine how they're feeling. Hugs and tears for students at Westland High School. I don't feel like this is real, like this can't be real, but it is. Senior Carolyn Freeling and many others in disbelief, wondering why two of their classmates had to die in a car crash. I found out the two were Antonio Caballero and Cooper Hill, both juniors and well liked. People are just like, like I love you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, and then like hugging it out and just like crying together, and it's fairly silent. Tonight, it was about coming to terms with their loss, something they all know too well. In fact, you may remember last June when Maddie Higgins and her boyfriend Hayden Soik were also killed in a car crash. He was a recent Westland graduate. She was a junior and on the softball team with Caroline. How could this happen again? Like I, that was just everything. That's what we kept repeating. Like, how did this happen again? But unfortunately, it did, and it's something this community will have. Have to deal with together. But as they say, they are Westland strong. Even if you don't know them super well, you can still like feel that sense of like they're not going to be there anymore and you know everybody else who's like affected by it. And so even if you don't know them, you know, you're like a part of it still. And during this story, a student just drove by saying, rest in peace, Tony, rest in peace, Coop. Now, at this point, there's still a lot of unknowns. We know two other teenagers are still in the hospital, but we're waiting to confirm on who they are or how they're doing. We'll let you know when we find out. Reporting live from Westland, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Queen 6 News.